welcome to Gold Scorpio 7's pixel art walkthrough. We are going to be working in a creative mode. I have a pixel art world here for you. As you can see, we're making Shaman from Pokemon right here on the right. I'm going to open up the world. Let's let it download and stuff. Okay, here we go. As you can see, we have Daily Bird that I finished last. Now we're going to. Where's my. Dang it, I don't have dirt. Here we go. We're going to add blocks to it so it's level with Daily Bird. I tried making this tutorial a few times before and had a lot of problems with Minecraft just not liking other recording software, so hopefully this will work better than what I was trying last time. And so far, so good, so we're going to get rid of this dirt. And okay, we're probably going to. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to move it a little bit more to the left. You don't want it too close to your other projects, but if it's too far away, it looks weird. So I'm going to put it there. Um, as you can see, this one starts about one block higher. I When I do this, I zoom in 800% in MS Paint, and I do a one to one ratio. So as you can see, this is. Uh, one higher, so right here is higher, one higher than here, so we're going to start one higher up here. And we're going to start... Um, actually, we're going to move it over like six more, because it's a bit... It's a bit high, or too far to the right. I don't want it too close. Uh, sun's going down, that's not good. Uh, to fix that, we're just going to go time set zero, reset the time. You can do that if you're in creative mode. It's really useful if you're you don't like the dark like I do. It's just kind of annoying. I have monsters set off, so they're not going to really be the problem. It's just it's a little bit harder to see what you're working with. As you can see, we started with black. I'm making the outline of this bottom part right here. I have all the colors more or less in here. If I need more, I'm going to work with them. This is going to be light gray. Um, that right here is going to be um, cyan clay. Cyan clay looks gray. I don't know why it does. It just it just happens to look that way. And uh, this color is going to be dark gray. As you can see, it works really well. One, two, three. You want to make sure to uh, count this out right. It was a dark green block. Whoops. So yeah, pixel art is not too difficult once you get started building it. Um, as you can see, I got started right here. You, it starts to become intuitive after you've done it for a long time like I have. So I'm going to try to slow down and tell you what I'm doing, my processes. For the most part, I'm making just a one-to-one -one ratio. I try to get small sections done first and then work around sometimes. I try to work from the down up, bottom up, I mean. And if you, creative mode's the easiest way to do this. If you want, you can always go into a a uh, survival world and do this. It just takes a lot longer to do. You have to get a lot more supplies. I have a server with what we call, what's a mod called a server economy, and it makes it cool since you can buy pretty much all the blocks. And I have a lot of stuff there. I'm probably going to make a video showing off all the cool stuff I made there eventually, but not right now, so... Because right now I'm making this video. Anyway, so as you can see, we've gotten a good amount of it done, of the bottom part, and I'm just going at it block by block, each block obviously being the block in there, and uh, putting down a few extra ones on accident. I think it's just because of my recording software. Now, as you can see, we got... This color is coming back over here. This is going to be uh, this thing. This is how your shading works. Um, I get sprite sheets. I don't actually make any of these images myself. Um, I messed that up. Oh well, anyway, I use a sprite, uh, Pokemon sprite sheets. You can go to the Spriter's resource and find a whole bunch of sprite sheets. And this one is from Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And I don't really know what Shaman is, but my sister likes it, so... And it was small enough that I thought I'd make it for a good example. And as you can see, you just slowly go at it, or fast if you're like me, and you can just put them down like 
crazy. I'm trying to get this done rather fast since I don't have a lot of hard drive space for videos. But I'm not trying to go too fast. As you can see, we got a good part of the bottom done outlined. So we're going to keep going on the left side for now. Start trying to get it all done. And uh, try to get all of it of the color I have out right now done. So I don't have to, I can change up my inventory to fit what colors I'm working with. Uh, might make another video where I'm in survival mode doing this because it's a lot more fun to watch but it also takes a lot longer and I'd have to make split the video up a little bit. Anyway, so we're doing pretty good on time I think. I haven't wasted too much time. I hope I'm not rambling any. Rambling's never good looking to see where I'm at. I'm right here-ish. So we're going to switch to the green colors. I'm going to put the dirt away, take out the jungle leaves for later, and remember what colors I was using. Okay, so I'm going to use these colors. Right here is going to be dark green. And it's slightly different, but it's a little bit different than this color. So this color is going to be uh, green stained clay. I believe I was going to do it that way. Yes. And that way I can keep things different but still rather the same um, this is going to be jungle leaves because they look a lot more vibrant green instead of less vibrant green I'm trying to make this where it stands out and looks really good as you can see it stands out more like that um, you can use other jung other leaves if you want I just like jungle leaves because they have a very distinct color to them um, so yeah anyway Let's keep putting these blocks down and try to get things done rather quickly but efficiently. You don't want to go too fast that you mess up, but you don't want to go too slow or things will just drag on forever and you you won't have the patience to finish it usually. At least that's how I feel when I do bigger projects and I'm just really frustrated. That's when you go and take a break and just give yourself some time to cool down and remember why you're doing it. The whole reason it's up to you. My reason is I like to have fun, and this is how I have fun, as I build weird Pokemon sprites and sometimes Digimon. And every once in a while I'll make something that isn't a Digimon or Pokemon sprite. But uh, they have to look cool enough, or something I think I can do without wasting too much time. Anyway, get back to this. As you can see, we did this whole green spot. It's going to look really good when we're done with it, probably. At least I hope. Now we're going to go back to working over here and mostly finish this area right here so as you can see it's uh, starting to fill up rather fast this is like I said a very easy one was not going to take me long and it shouldn't if anyone wants to make this one it shouldn't take them too long either you can show your friends and they'll, they'll think it's cool looking probably or they might not know what Pokemon is and they just won't know anything but at least you'll have fun um, the map arts, though, well, if you ever make one of those, people might not think they're as impressive because they don't look as good. Now, we're going to use uh, this color for this color. They're not exactly the same, but they're going to work the same way for our purposes here. So, we're going to do that. Put one too many there. And there you go. Make sure, uh, breaking blocks is really important. Uh, having a good pick or hatchet if you're using wood if you're in survival mode is essential because it's going to be really slow. Shears are also nice and my friends yelling random words in the background that's great. Anyway I'm thinking well I want to make this real quick I think I messed up a second. No 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 I didn't. Okay good. This is going to be lime clay as you can see I, I thought I'd used it and no, it's not. So right here here we go and we go we're good we're doing pretty good right now on time and we're doing it pr pretty well we haven't made too many mistakes that I haven't needed to fix I have a bad habit of messing one thing up and everything has to be redone so hopefully we won't have any of those problems today and we can just get this done with so as you can see we're wor I'm working right around here ish I'm going to try to get this area done whatever that thing is I'm hoping I'm not too boring here so we're gonna put some jungle leaves down 
Jungle leaves down. Come on. Working with a little bit of lag, but it's okay. So now we're uh, putting this down, this down. Here, getting this outline built so that it looks good. One, two, three. Some of these images will have sort of a a pattern in of them kinds. It just kind of depends on who made them and how they look. But yeah, you can find little patterns that you'll find to make life a lot easier when you're building this stuff. I like to uh, move closer to the screen and squint because sometimes I can't see exactly what's going on. I am always looking for better editing programs than MS Paint that allow me to zoom in more but still have these grid lines. As you can see, I have the grid lines on to help me see which each individual block is. I tried using Photoshop, but the grid lines were way too big and they didn't do one pixel by one pixel. It zoomed in a lot, but it, it just made every individual pixel really, really big. And then I couldn't tell which it was an individual pixel and or a mass of pixels were, so I had to ditch that idea, sadly. Okay, we're gonna put the jungle leaves back. We're gonna put lime wool out. Because we're switching it up to lime wool now. That we've gotten to this color right here. And we'll probably bring the jungle leaves back for like here and here, but not till then. And we're building up. And so, okay, let's see here. Where else are we at? We need to put one more right here. There's four, and then four here. And they like to build up a lot, like kind of like a stepping, a step stool like thing. And so we're going to build one of these green stain clay blocks. So I'll, I might as well tell some, give some advice while I'm building this, because I'm pretty much given all the what I'm doing out here, so I'll just give some building advice as I build. Um, I like to use uh, wool a lot. Black wool is really good. White wool is really good. If you have access to better materials, you can use uh, blocks of quartz instead of wool if you want that instead of white. I might use just wool right now because everything else is made of wool. It makes it look more coherent. Uh, I'm going to do this some more, and then you can just do that and break one. Um, I also like using... Uh, stain clay, although stain clay doesn't always work the way you want it to, because even though it says it's uh, one color, like it says it's cyan, but I mean, that this is cyan over here, so this is cyan, and these don't look anywhere near each other. So sometimes you just gotta work with what you got, sometimes you can use certain things to be other things, which is really cool, and sometimes it's rather frustrating if you want it to be one thing and it's completely not what you want. Yeah. And working with maps is even more interesting than tricky because they don't ever want to work the way you want, in my opinion. You'll have like you'll want more pinks and you'll have not very many pinks, and then you just get frustrated. And hopefully you don't give up, because when you give up, you might as well just throw in the towel and just never make more art, because you're always going to have problems. A good idea when you're building these is to have an outline of what colors you're going to use and other things. Don't be like me. Don't just run into a project and then realize halfway through that you don't have X colors and you have to start fudging them. Or if you don't know what fudging is, it's when you one col two colors look close like uh, this one and this one. And you're just like, oh, they're the same color now. And so, anyway, let's keep going here. As you can see, I messed up there for a second. Uh, gotta put this there. Wait. No, that's this color. There we go. I was trying to figure out why it wasn't working. Here we go. And we're almost done with the top right hand portion of the thing. Okay, so now we're gonna pull out some other colors. I think we're pretty much done with the, the cyan. So we're gonna put the cyan up. And we're gonna pull out the gold blocks. Gold blocks are nice. They look really good and they do a lot of things. I like them more than yellow wool because yellow wool looks disgusting in my opinion. But I'm sure there's people who like yellow wool. I just I don't like it as much. I like what the gold blocks do. They are really shiny. I also like gold so I'm, that probably is the reason why. Anyway so here we go. Trying to get all this done. Oh, good. I didn't. I forgot to do this. There we go. 
No, keep putting them out. Almost done with this section. As you can see, it's really shaping up. i liking how it's turning out. Okay, so now we're going to we'll get rid of that. Uh, we don't want those either. I think I had all these blocks set aside, and then I saved it on a flash drive to put on my friend's computer, and it didn't work. So we're going to do this, and then do one more. We want... We just did that one. We want magenta stained clay. There we go. So these colors are what we're going to work with next. We're going to change out these two because we don't need the gold for a little bit. I'm going to start working on this, I don't know, a star thing? I don't know what Shaman is. It's some kind of weird hedgehog Pokemon. I don't know why they made Sonic the Hedgehog in Pokemon. This is weird. But Pokemon is weird, so who knows. Um, okay, well we've got a few different colors here. We're probably going to uh, change this up a bit. I'm going to take... I'm going to use pink wool. So We're going to make these, this pink, this uh, all those colors in there pink. I don't know why I did that. Here we go. So it looks a little bit more colorful and better and we'll... It'll make that. Make these slightly darker pink parts, the magenta, and then everything will work out. So yeah, as you can see, we were working with the purple. We're trying to get this all done. I'm trying to get this done as fast as possible, but I don't want to go too fast and confuse people because that would completely discredit the whole point of this video is to help people. So yeah, I, so the reason why I'm making this video is that I've been wanting to make a tutorial video on this for a long time. I actually wrote an essay in college on how to do this and I decided that I might as well make a video about it so that all my time could be even more wasted. And someone asked me on my DeviantArt. They said, hey, would you make a video explain how to do this? And I was like, I could totally do that. And I tried for the longest time without the proper recording software. And let's just say I had really bad experiences and I got really frustrated. But now we have the, the right recording software and everything's working out really well. So just go show you if you need the proper tools for the right job. And the job we have right now, we're doing pretty good at it. So anyway, we almost got this pink star thing done. And this thing, uh, you might not figure it, but Minecraft Heart takes a long time to make, even if you're in creative mode. Especially if you keep putting blocks in front of blocks like I keep doing. But I don't know. I'm only having, I seem to only be having that problem because I'm recording. You know, Murphy's Law, if you... Something bad could happen, it's going to happen. Oh, thankfully I haven't completely lost this entire project by like one pixel like I usually do. So, we haven't gotten completely screwed yet, which is good. So here we go, we're almost done with these sections. As you can see, we got the star done. And uh, we're almost there. Um, we're going to go back to working on the green though, because it's just more important. Oh, it's got more. There's more green than there's anything else in this thing. So go back to the green. Come on, blocks. Please don't go on top of each other. Thank you. Okay, almost. We just keep doing this. Thankfully, there's a lot of just fill in work in Minecraft. Just gotta be careful not to fill in the wrong spots, though. And here we go. Do, 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 do. Hopefully, I'm not too boring, but it's okay. We're just trying to get this done. And so we need to make sure we do this. One, two, one, two. Okay, so go up here, one, two. And then go over one, two, and then one, two, three, four. We just need to redo that with the gold blocks. Everything's fine. It's okay to fill in too much of wool because if you have shears, you can just shear it all away. Especially if you have efficiency 5 shears and shearing just goes away like crazy. So anyway, we're going to keep going. 2, 3, 4, 5. I believe that's 5. No, it's 6. Whoopsie. Anyway, here we go. Keep going. And uh, hopefully we'll get this done really quick. You, everyone else can make their own shaman. And so, yeah. I have other things built on the server I might show off later in a future video where I'll have more time to talk. 
And so, and less of building some things. So yeah, let's see here. Hopefully my friend in the background isn't too loud. Anyway, so, here we go. Wrong one. Here we go. I like to use the scroll wheel when I'm using Minecraft. I set it so I can just scroll throughout my thing. And I have a trackball, so using the mouse is really, f it's different. But I like it. I grew up with it, so whatever. Anyway, let's see here. One, two, three, four. Go. Okay, yeah. It's a lot of counting. A lot of counting when you're doing Minecraft art. And then get three. So we want to make a one, two, three, four. And that should be all the gold blocks we need. So we'll put the gold blocks away and pull that back out. So now, just keep putting all of the lime wool. There we go. I need a word. And put it down. And a lot of this video is just going to be probably silence. I'm trying to fill up all the silence with actual words, but I don't want to be too annoying. Anyway, let's do this. Do, 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 Yeah, that's the right wool. Er, not wool. Blech. Right clay. So yeah, keep going down. And keep going to do this. Um, anyway, yeah, I started this like two years ago on the film craft or the Minecraft, the film cow Minecraft server. I'm getting tongue tied. And uh, first thing I built was a Gyarados. Actually, no, I built uh, a Metabolo from Dragon Warrior. And then I built a. The first big project I built was a Gyarados. So I'm like, oh, this is cool. And then I just decided that I would make it everywhere. And then I think I built a uh, Gardevoir after that. And then it just kind of stuck. That I was going to be building Pixel Art in Minecraft. As you can see, I reset the time. It was getting to be nighttime again. And it's just not the easiest thing to build Minecraft in the nighttime. So, Pixel Art in the whatever. So yeah, here we go. Uh, we're getting all the green done pretty much. This will be almost done. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, and then like this. And uh, wait, no, here we go. There we go. And then this, and then one, two, three, and there we go. We got all that done. Now we just have the face done. I have a bad habit of finishing faces last. I don't know why. Uh, at least my one of my friends told me that, and I was like, oh, that's weird. Anyway, so we got to the uh, to the end. It's just uh, a little bit more work here, and then we're done. I'm going to change out black for a second for uh, light gray. I missed one here because we didn't have it there. And there we go. I'm trying to get the last bit of this done. And so it's all white. There we go. And now we can put the last two little blacks here so we can get rid of the purple... We want uh, this, that, and then this, and now we can put these away for the colors we'll need, which are the, and you can do that to kind of move them around, and then move them around a little bit more, because we're going to do this, and that's how I like to organize my inventory. I like to go darker colors on the left and brighter colors on the right. Uh, except black and white, obviously, because they were like kind of close together. So I was. I also like to group colors that are close together in colors. And on the in the image, I'm gonna put gray back here because I'm gonna need it in a minute. Anyway, so yeah, we get we're almost done. Just mostly fill in from here, and we need one more here, and then we got a dark gray. So we're gonna replace this with this. No, this. There we go. I almost did cyan. I'm telling you, it's weird. And then we'll do this. Put the last dark gray one down, and then we'll switch it with the light gray. And uh, now we can put light gray here, black here, jungle leaves there, and then continue to go across until we hit that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's five, so we put another one down here, and then go like this, and then go like this, and then do that. One, two, 
Now we want to hit these two are going to be leaves. Yeah. And then the rest should be white. So we pretty much are done here. That's not white. And as you can see, that is the. It's just mostly fill in. We did all the complicated things. And there we go. It didn't take us that long at all to make this. And now, if you want to take a picture like I'm going to do, you hit F1 and it will remove the inventory and everything else in your body and then you can press F2 to take screenshots although you can always change that in the settings if you want and uh, that will conclude my video on how to make pixel art in Minecraft thank you all for staying tuned